Trends. Halo. The things tend to go hand in hand or at least for once upon a time they did. When Halo Combat Evolved launched, it changed how console shooters play and set the standard for many years to come. And when Halo 2 launched, it completely revolutionized how online multiplayer works in terms of couch co-op and playing with your friends. Halo 3 was just awesome. So <laughs> that's how it revolutionized things. But it's 2021. Players have changed, the gaming landscape has changed, and players' appetite for what they like and do not like has changed drastically. So that's the question. Does Halo Infinite need to follow the trends? Does it need to be the trend? Or does it just need to do its own thing? So that's what we're going to discuss. Ultimate Halo. Hey up lads and lasses, Fletch here from Ultimate Halo. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing. We're nearly 100K and you can be part of the pre 100K gang. Yeah. So if you're not already, hit that button, it's free and it helps me out a lot and I really appreciate your continued support. Okay, so it's very clear that the gaming landscape has changed, especially in terms of player behaviours and what they like and don't like. And on the back of that, we do see a lot of content creators who are bringing in big numbers, who are big YouTubers, who are doing battle royale stuff. So on the topic of battle royale, is it here to stay? Because once upon a time, I thought BRs were going to be a fad. I thought they were going to fade out over time and nobody would talk about them again. But upon reviewing my opinion about the matter, I do genuinely think that they're here to stay. And that brings the question of should Halo ever try it? Should Halo try Battle Royale? It depends. And truthfully, I think if Halo Infinite doesn't do as well as Microsoft expect, I think they should just double down and say, let's do a Battle Royale. I'm not precious whether or not they do it. I love Halo, I will always love Halo, but that's not really the question. People like me are always going to be around, but the people who maybe want to get into Halo, but can't quite get into arena shooters, just to give them something else, maybe that's for them. Maybe a Halo Battle Royale is the perfect entry point. So I would say give it two or three years. Hopefully with the Slipspace engine, it would make development of such things easier. And with the sprawling landscapes of Delta Halo that we've seen in gameplay trailers so far and screenshots, I have no reason to think that the Halo Infinite engine couldn't deal with such big environments. But what about other shooter types? Because at the end of the day, every game kind of has its own niche. And whether the niche is something to do with the story or something to do with the mechanics, it's always got something. And there are arena shooters out there. A lot of CSGO, I think that's an arena shooter. I'd describe it as that at least anyway. You've got hero shooters such as Overwatch. Or does Halo Infinite need to make its own niche? But the problem with Halo Infinite's niche, so to speak, or niche, as Americans would say, its niche is that it's kind of just Halo. It's kind of how it's always been. It's a classic arena shooter to some degree, but with sprint and other features and a grapple hook, but here. So it just makes you ask the question, is there a market for things such as a, just a normal Halo experience online and with competitive tournaments? Potentially. And I'm not 100%. And that's kind of where I want you guys to chime in as well. So feel free to leave your opinions in the comment section below. But at the same time, it does make you ask the question, can the name of Halo carry Halo? And to be honest with you, no. I think anything can fall from grace and you've seen Call of Duty do it many a time but the thing is they brought out a solid battle royale and even I play it consistently all the time I, I do enjoy it it pisses me off quite a lot actually but it's still good so is the basic offering enough but at the end of the day one thing we also need to consider this game's going to be free to play Warzone's probably greatest success is that it's free to play. It's garnered so many more players. And I personally would not play Warzone if it wasn't a free to play title. And I really enjoy it. I've still to this day not spent a penny, but I'm sure there are people who spend extortionate amounts of money on free will because they wanted to get all the cosmetics, which Halo Infinite seems to be doubling down on from things such as armor coatings and other things that we've seen so far. So to answer the initial question, does Halo Infinite need to chase trends? I think ultimately, no pun intended, Halo Infinite really needs to have a strong strategy and plan, especially when coming into the esports scene when things open up post COVID. But if it doesn't pan out, 343 seriously need a plan B. If the first year or two doesn't start working, they need to get a start in plans for how they are going to revive this franchise and revive how they can get new player interest, which they've never had in a good long while. So I don't want to make this about should we have a battle royale? 
but there is a conversation to be had in there somewhere. So let me know in the comments section down below. Do you think Halo Infinite needs a BR? Do you think it needs to just stick to its own thing to be a solid game? Keep it polite because it's a really heated topic. But once again, my name's Jack Fletcher and I will see you next time on the one and the only Ultimate Halo. Subscribe now to Ultimate Halo for more unfreaking believable Halo content. Thank you.